Hello and welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you how hackers were able to obtain hundreds of millions of user records from Twitter. Let's do it. So we know this hack had to do with Twitter's login flow. If you passed a valid email or phone number, they would give you an account ID. So I created an API and this API is going to look for several things. It'll accept a login and this is going to be their email or their phone number along with a password. And if the account doesn't exist, we're going to tell them that it doesn't exist. If the account does exist, we're going to go ahead and log them in. And if the account exists, but the password's wrong, then we're going to return the account ID of the associated account back to the user. So we know that one of the victims of this recent breach was the billionaire Kevin O'Leary. So I put him into my fake data set. And then what I did is look up an email associated with him online. And what we're able to do is submit that email to Twitter and it'll return the account ID associated with his account. And so to enrich this data, we're going to send the account ID over to Twitter. When we do that, we're going to get all of the information in his account, and we can see that the account does indeed belong to Kevin O'Leary, AKA Mr. Wonderful. And we can do the same thing with phone numbers. And so if we pretend this Pittsburgh phone number is a real phone number, we grab the associated account ID. Then what we can do is look up that account ID and we'll see that it belongs to the billionaire Mark Cuban, who was also a victim in this breach. So I went ahead and took the account IDs that we already have and added them to a text file. I'll show you that real quick. And the next thing we're going to do is run a Python script to go look up a bunch of accounts. And when I run this, it's going to go grab all the Twitter accounts it can find. And then now we're going to have this bigger list of potential Twitter accounts. And so what that script was doing is it was taking all of these common email formats and these names that we're guessing probably have Twitter accounts associated and then just doing a mass lookup. Obviously, this is going to be a really compute heavy approach, but because Twitter's the one paying the cloud bill, it doesn't really matter to us as the hacker. So now we're going to leverage this other API to do our scraping. This is a simple get. All we have to do is pass in the user's ID and it will give us back all their information. And so we're going to use this Python script. It's going to accept a file name, which will be those account IDs. And then it's going to just do a mass scrape for every single one of those account IDs. It'll ping Twitter and see what comes back. And this is where it gets interesting, because now we can run another script to correlate these account IDs to real users. And now that we have a bunch of information, we can go and sell that on the internet. This incident has been another reminder of just how important it is not to provide too much information back to the user. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time.